And uh, the other one that you like, uh, which is a key trade for you, Adam, is uh, ELD. Yeah, so Elders is a, a retain, we retain a buy on it. Basically, we've been looking at a lot of other uh, um, te uh, agricultural stocks that are here in Australia. So a lot of them, uh, Grain Corp, New Farm, all of these businesses, Ridley, have, have reported very, very well. Now, Elders is like the Macquarie Bank of the agricultural sector. And we really like that because it's really diversified. Now, Elders reports in about two and a half weeks. So there's still some time to get access to that. But we know from all of the other reports from all the single commodity or agricultural businesses that they've done really, really well. So good conditions. We've had summer rain. We've had winter rain. And then also uh, uh, those farmers are going to do well. But also then the issues that are happening overseas and especially in Europe will bode well for a lot of those agricultural stocks. So Elders is a buy. We really like the story and it has that diversified earnings, which is really great to talk to clients about. So, yeah, really comfortable with elders at the moment. Absolutely. Disrupted food supply chains and local sources, uh, sourcing is helping uh, some of uh, the local uh, uh, agri-commodity businesses. I just want to understand very quickly, let's move on from trade yeah. to fade. <laughs> what is it that you wouldn't like uh, in the region, your top fade? Yeah, so the, the first one is, is certainly we're very long and continue to be long the energy trade, which I don't think there's any problems with that energy trade going forward. However, Whitehaven is a fantastic business and has done very, very well. Certainly coal, tower winds remain in place as Russia invasion of Ukraine. We're also seeing thermal coal continuing to benefit from the, the drought in China. China's hydroelectric side of things is about 15% of their energy needs. And without those hydroelectric powers, they have to turn to coal to keep the lights on. But all in all, Whitehaven is up now around about 113% in the last six months. And so the fade for me is uh, to take a little bit of profit in Whitehaven. I think it's probably that coal story is coming closer to the end of, it, end of its run and potentially just taking a little bit of profit up here, especially after the stock has rallied so much. I think Whitehaven coal is, is a good uh, partial sell. Can I say a partial sell? Not a full sell, but take some profits in Whitehaven at the moment from where it is.